the Nintendo Switch, the hybrid console that took the gaming world by storm in March 2017, a console that Nintendo needed to be successful coming off of the Wii U, which didn't sell well at all. As of today, the Switch is the third highest selling console of all time, right behind the PlayStation 2 at number one and the Nintendo DS in second place. Now alongside its popularity, emulation efforts have surged, driven by advancements in hardware and the dedication of the emulation community. As of early 2025, Nintendo Switch emulation is still alive and better than ever, even if Nintendo has done everything they can do to stop it. So let's head back to January 2018. Not even a full year after the console release, there was an emulator for the console, that being Yuzu. This emulator was by the same creators of the 3DS emulator Citra. Then the very next month, a second emulator was released called Ryujinx. Now of course, these emulators wasn't booting up games like Breath of the Wild, but no one at the time knew that these two emulators would progress as fast as they did. The crazy thing is, we didn't just have one emulator, but two different options giving us two options for compatibility, performance, and features set over the years to come. So if one didn't play a game that great, then there was a chance that other emulator would. Today, these emulators can run a vast majority of Nintendo Switch titles, including many AAA games, like The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. They also support a range of third-party titles, making it possible for PC gamers to experience Switch-exclusive content. Features like resolution scaling, frame rate unlocking, and mod support have have made emulators even more appealing, allowing users to enhance games beyond the capabilities of the original hardware. That is, if you still have these emulators saved on your PC or a personal drive, because in 2024, sadly, we lost both of these emulators. The first to go was Yuzu, because Nintendo filed a lawsuit against the developers claiming that the emulator was allowing the widespread of piracy. And I'm gonna be honest here, it was. I mean, honestly, what emulator doesn't? But anyways, instead of a battle in court, the developers agreed to a settlement that included shutting down the Yuzu project and paying damages to Nintendo. After all of this was done, the team also shut down the 3DS emulator Citra. This was just collateral damage due to the lawsuit. A few months later, in 2024, the team behind Ryu Jinx shut their project down as well. The lead developer said he was contacted by Nintendo and was forced to end the project due to concerns about piracy and copyright infringement. So yeah. 2024 was a rough year for Switch emulation, but we all know that once something hits the internet, it will be hard to remove it for good. And soon after, we got a fork of Yuzu called Suyu that is actually still alive in 2025, as they say, but it hasn't received an update in about 10 months. Now in case you don't know what a fork is, well it's basically the code taken from an emulator used again with a new name and the developers of the fork can continue a project or better it with future updates and proving everything from the original code taken. Now the developer naming the emulator Suyu, that was savage because it was basically a shot at Nintendo saying sue us. They were ready to f around and find out. But Suyu wasn't the only fork we got, there was also Torzu, but this one did receive a DMCA takedown and the official GitHub is no longer available. As of forks for Ryu Jinx, we got two of them and they are both still active today. There is Sadachi and Citron. Both of these emulators are great and if you are looking for the best Switch emulator experience, then I recommend either of these. These two emulators as well as Suyu are also available for Android. So as of now, in 2025, and I say now because anything can change, there are three emulators you can download. Suyu, Sadachi, and Citron. And if you still have a copy of the OG emulators, Yuzu and Ryu Jinx, then yes, they still work as well. This just means that after all Nintendo did to stop Switch emulation, they actually just made it worse. Because this goes to show you that once one falls, another will rise. 
and sometimes more than one rises. But still, as I always say, just make sure your emulators are backed up on a separate drive from your main drive you use on a daily, because you just never know what the future of emulation will look like. But at the same time, I gotta be honest here. I have to say, Nintendo is a company and I understand them wanting to protect their brand and their titles as well as keep money in their pockets. But maybe, just maybe, one day they will understand that emulation is a fight they can't win. Unless they somehow shut down the internet. But that's not gonna happen. Anyways, stay safe and keep emulating guys.